I'm Steve. I am. Um, my first memory of you was you were driving Prime Suspect, and it was a windward course, and we were heading towards Bean Rock. And I was like, just oh, hang on, I got my microphone here. I, I was just growing up in Kilbert Yachting. I've been a yachting in my life, and to follow the good guys was the way to go. And can I ask you three questions? I've got, a, I've got a thread on my website about you and about all you've done, and well not all you've done, but a, a little bit about what you've done, and I've got a couple of questions for you. When you're 40 feet in the air, doing 40 miles an hour, do you, do you park back to the days of the date sandwiches? Oh yeah, I always think of the date sandwiches, yeah. You know, I always, <laughs> I might see them again doing 40 miles an hour. <laughs> You reckon? Mate, these things are monsters, aren't they? They're monsters, yeah. And that wing they got on that other thing. Oh, it's amazing, isn't it? It's gorgeous. It's fantastic. And Beautiful thing. People have said to me, hey George, people have said to me, this is America's cup spoke. I said, mate, it's gorgeous. <laughs> Look at what it produces. Yeah. Okay? It might and, be fucked, but it's gorgeous. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's fucking gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. The second question I've got, is that I've got a 14 year old kid watching this thing on YouTube and he's looking at my website and he's going, how can I get where you are today? What's the answer to that question? Well, I think if you, uh, you know, try and go through the, the youth programs that are, that are set up in the different towns, especially the one here in Auckland and then, then uh, I, the one in Wellington looks very good. Yep. And then, um, you know, try and get another skill that you can bring with you. You just can't sail nowadays. You have to have another No, skill. engineering or electrical engineering or something. Or something. Like that. Yeah. And then try and uh, bug a team that's uh, up and running. Yeah. And uh, tell them you'll do it for nothing and yeah. work as hard as you can and try and get sailing. I asked uh, um, uh, Reuben, he's a bowman on, um, on Alfa Romeo, that same question. And he's just on the Volvo. And he said, mate, just keep chipping away. Just keep getting the in there and, and just keep doing the stuff. Yeah, I think Would you Kiwi, agree with that? Yeah, I think Kiwi kids are the perfect thing for that. I think they have a lot of, they've got a lot of things that make that happen yeah. for them naturally. Yeah. And uh, which other, other nationalities don't have. And so, you know. It's, it's a, it, there's a good reason why there's so many boats here, right? Yeah, that's yeah. right. The third question I got for you, Brad, is... Um, the Waiheke Boating Club. Yeah. I'm from Waiheke. Right. Okay. So am I. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And, um... <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been there much. Yeah. <laughs> but, um... They're trying to build a, um... Uh, a clubhouse on Only Row Beach for the for the little kids, for the yeah. juniors and stuff. And they've got the resource consent to make the building happen. But what they've asked me to ask you is that can they have their prize giving next sort of February or March in your driveway and have a sausage sizzle in your garage? Why not? Fantastic. Why not? And, and if you want to, you can come. They can help me to get resource consent. <laughs> they probably can. Yeah. Hey, there you go, folks. You just stick with the yacht yakker, and I'll show you all the stars. <laughs>